right, that was a band performance from Jungle Lava. Our next guest is making a name for herself after being the lead voice in the 2020 Emmy-nominated Star Trek short treks, The Girl Who Made the Stars. Joining us this morning is child actor Kyrie McAlpin. Good morning, Kyrie. Good morning. How are you? I am fabulous. And how are you? I'm doing amazing, fabulous. I wake up at this time, like, usually every day, so I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. Kyrie, when did your love for acting begin? My love for acting begin, well, certainly, I was kind of already born with it. Mm -hmm. My parents saw the talent. They saw me being me. I used to take the sheets from the bedroom and make a run runway and they just knew to put me in it and that I already had the talent. So my mom, we went to a whole bunch of different agencies and we signed up with Neil Hamill Agency mm -hmm. and I trained for four weeks and that's how I started acting. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, you, you were born to do this. Um, you've worked on so many projects. For, for the children who are watching you now and, and, and in their minds, they're saying, oh my gosh, I want to be a child actor. What, what are some of the tips that you can give to them? First, never give up. That's one of the most important things that I like to tell people. Never give up. Be yourself. Always pray on it because God's got you. There's a saying, it's called, you have not because you ask not. And I actually recently listened to this motivation. I like listening to motivation a lot because it really shows me who to be. Mm -hmm. And if you're discouraged, just don't give up. Don't yeah. give up at all. There's going to be a hundred no's. And yes, there may be some yeses. Yeah. And you can't get everything. Yeah. Everybody's not perfect, so you got to just roll with it. And if you have the passion, if you really want to get in it and you know this is what you want to do, you got to do it. Got to do it, Kyrie. Man, you're in so many different feature films, shorts, everything. You've met some of the best actors. I'm almost scared to ask you who's your, who's your favorite actor or actress. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have two favorite actresses. Okay. The first is Miss Victoria Roel. I like to call her Auntie Vicky. We're so close. And she she's like she's like my one of my idols. She's so great with everything she does. She we go to on walks together. She shows me never to give up. She's one of the reasons why I keep going. Wow. Like I recently filmed two movies with her, mm -hmm. one Birdie, it's Ariel, and one is Confidential, but it's coming out soon, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's, she's giving me the passion, and I really want to be a director, a writer, girl with many talents. So she just really, really, really showed me to never give up and keep doing what I'm doing and I'm not perfect yes. and she's just she's just amazing she she's is really amazing. amazing she absolutely is um family support is important I think for 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 child actors to be successful tell me about that how does that you know, is it well I know your parents are behind you 100 percent so talk to me about that well my parents always tell me to stay humble that's like a really important thing because you have to stay grateful and respectful and have your manners because if you're not grateful, you're not respectful and you don't stay humble. They've seen people get get their stuff taken away like that. Yes. And it's really, really, really important to pray on it. And I'm not perfect. They say, I can't get everything and to just relax. And when I get overwhelmed, just, just breathe, relax. They tell me to meditate because that's what I really love doing. It yeah. just helps me. And I just calm down. I give myself a break and I go back to work. Wow. I'm watching you with these these stars, <laughs> Kyrie, and you're, you're, wow, you're slaying it. <laughs> Do you ever get, get overwhelmed? Um, I like walking onto a set, seeing some of these stars, and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm a child. 
but I still have to, 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 to deliver the standard that they are as adults. <laughs> <laughs> I actually never get overwhelmed. I just get overly excited mm -hmm. because I get to meet new people. Being on set is one of my favorite things. It's just like, it's a normal thing for me. But mm -hmm. if I'm not on set for a very long period of time, I kind of get sad because it's really great. And seeing all the stars, I'm like, ooh, this just urges me to be an actor more. Yeah. I'm going to keep acting until I'm at least 80. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> I think you'll be acting until you're a hundred. <laughs> what about lines? How difficult is it to get those lines, Kyrie? Actually, it's not that difficult for me because I practice. I even have my own acting space in my room mm -hmm. and I practice crying on cue. Wow. And just being me, I practice my lines. I e I'm even writing a script right now. Mm -hmm. And practicing my lines, it's really not that easy, but it's not that hard at <laughs> least. Because if you actually believe in it and you speak it, you speak, I got this script. And you give yourself a time zone, like I'll finish the script in one day. What? That easy. All I have to do is I go over my lines, I go over everybody's lines, I read it all at once. I read about my character, I read the summary or the storyline about the characters mm -hmm. and what's going on in the script. Mm -hmm. So I kind of know who I am mm -hmm. and what's going on in the setting, like what time it is and where I am. So I get an understanding of the script mm -hmm. and then I highlight, I add my notes and I go over it a few times and boom, it just hits like that. Listen, you just delivered a super lesson that even adults in acting can apply to learning skills. That was so awesome. Kyrie, Thank Kyrie you. is 10 going on 100 with maturity. Um, so I know you're in Victoria's project, and, and maybe you don't want to say too much, but we know you're in Blackjack Christmas. So we're looking forward to seeing you in that because a lot of it happened here in Jamaica. Yeah, we, as usual, we heard you were awesome. So we want to see you in it. Yay, yay. Yay. <laughs> Kyrie, you're such a breath of fresh air. Awesome talking to you. And, um, and obviously, how, how do you balance school work? How do you balance school work and acting? Tutors, you have tutors. Well, how do I balance is, that's really easy. Yeah. I can think of this on the top of my head. I plan. I write a schedule, I plan my days, I know what time to wake up in the morning, I make sure that I have a certain plan and that I have a break, I do my work, and I still be a child, you know, play with my dolls, do my artwork, stuff like that, but I still get the work done mm -hmm. in a certain way and schedule. Yes, yes, listen, girl, I'm going to take some notes from you and see if I can apply them myself. It was awesome talking <laughs> to you. I, you. I look so forward to seeing all the amazing things that I know you're going to do. And um, when, you're, when you're getting your Emmy and your Oscars and all your awards, I'll say, oh, I know Kyrie, that's my friend. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. Blessings, blessings on you, Kyrie. Blessings as well. <laughs> that was child Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kyrie McAlpin. Coming up next, it's our